The U.S. Supreme Court's ruling that effectively legalized gay marriage in America is welcome news for local gay rights campaigners who want to see the laws change to allow gays to marry, especially gay rights campaigner Mark Anderson, the man behind Sybil Barrington. The shock U.S. Supreme Court ruling means that gay marriages everywhere in the United States is now an option, and the decision came weeks after local advocates presented government with a petition calling for the same. The United States now has made the 21st country uh, throughout the world that has now recognized same-sex marriages. Government has been silent on the issue. However, Mr. Anderson, who himself is openly gay, believes the island's economy could take a hit in the long run if it does not embrace what he views as modernization. And when you look into the mainstream of international business, uh, where international business is now in Bermuda, you hear some talk about will United States now move to Cuba? Yes, a lot of things is hearsay, but you got to look at the business aspect of it. You now have international business, reinsurance companies, as well as insurance companies that are now coming to Bermuda and bringing, um, hiring people of all walks of life. And I would hate to think that some of these companies may say in the future, you know what, Bermuda's not stepping up to its game. We're now going to look elsewhere where we can take our companies where people are up to date. However, the view that the island must modernize doesn't always square with the Bible, according to well-known preacher Dr. Maria Seaman, who heads the Shekinah Worship Center in Hamilton Parish. We invited her to weigh in. I believe in the last interview I had with you folks, I did say that it would happen in Bermuda. Uh, I was away actually last week in Chicago uh, preaching, and I, I told them I'm quite a a familiar saying we have that when America sneezes, Bermuda catches a cold. So welcome to the cold season or the flu season, whatever we want to call it. Yep, it's going to follow suit. And I've been saying that for some time, so it's absolutely no shock. Asked to respond to critics who warn that Bermuda is too conservative for gay marriages, Mr. Anderson telling us... To Rye, when is Bermuda ever ready? They wasn't ready for when they wanted to start the shopping on Sundays. And what are the views raised by the island's powerful religious community? I love the church. I respect the church. I respect everything that it stands for. But I just don't like the people that go there. I have no problem with the church, you know, saying what they got to say. They're going to say what they have to say. I love them just as well. But the question is, do they love me?